The Brahmi numeral system is an indigenous South Asian numeral system. It originated in northwestern Pakistan and is the predecessor to all numerical systems to have been found in South Asia. In fact, the Hindu Arabic numeral system or decimal system was actually a direct descendant of the Brahmi numeral system. The Brahmi numeral system is a part of a bigger overall system known as the Brahmi script, which is a writing system that was used in 3rd century BC. The Brahmi numeral system looks just like this. As you can see, it doesn't seem to have a zero. Rather, every single 10, 100, and 1000 has a unique numeral for each number. The Brahmi numeral system also seems to follow the same rule as the decimal numeral system with double digit numbers being stacked onto each other instead of making a whole new numeral for that number. Here's an example using Brahmi numerals instead. Although we've covered its fundamentals and features, how is it being used during its prime years in 300 BC, and how is it still being used today? Well, Brahmi numerals are being used on coins and being written on rock and cave walls. For instance, this very old coin with the face of ruler Mihirakula on it is one of the first coins to ever be made. As you can see, the digit 9 is on it, as well as a couple of other ones that aren't as visible. Now this begs the question, how is it still being used today? Well, as we covered earlier, the decimal number system is a direct descendant of the Brahmi numeral system. Without the Brahmi numeral system, numbers would look very different than what they look like now. Technically, we still are using the Brahmi numeral system, just a more advanced version of it. We have a lot to thank the Brahmi numeral system for. Without it, we wouldn't have come this far numerically. Thanks for watching. Thank you.